If you visited the Kaled Coliseum in Elden Ring Darkmoon and participated in the arena, you may have noticed a weird interaction during this encounter. This is a fight between Radon and Melania, where you are tasked with defeating both of them. About halfway through Radon's health bar, however, you'll notice that he jumps away to prepare his meteor attack. He does this in vanilla, but the key difference here is that in Darkmoon, during this encounter, he never comes back down. So, why does this happen? Welcome to the Elden Ring Dark Moon BTS series, an exclusive series of videos I'll make on occasion for the Patreon. If you want to see more like this, check out the Patreon in the link below. So, back to Radon zooming away. To understand why he does this, I have to explain how it's happening first. This is Dark Script 3, a fantastic program created by iTunes in the fifth mat that allows for easy viewing and editing of From Software's event scripts, the lines of code that control a ton of what's happening during gameplay. This block of code is part of an event in the Kaled Coliseum, and it's doing a few things, one of which is controlling Radon's disappearing. The first line here is a wait for, which essentially means the rest of the block won't execute until its parameters have been met. In this case, it's waiting for Entity 4501-0602, Radon, to have special effect 7001 1610. After that gets set, it does a few things, like changing the background music, disabling Radon's health bar, and then disabling Radon himself. There's some generic seconds based waiting in there too, these are just fallbacks so you don't actually see Radon blink out of existence in game. All of this only happens after that special effect exists on Radon, however. So, what is a special effect? Think of them as an invisible marker on an enemy or the player that alters something about that entity's data. For example, when you equip the Crimson Amber Medallion, it applies the special effect 310000, which buffs your total health by 6%. Special effects are used a ton in From Software games, and importantly, they can be checked by the various sister systems in the game, like EMEVD, also known as event scripting. Back to Radon. The special effect that's being checked doesn't actually change anything about Radon, it simply exists on Radon while he's jumping away, and because of that, this line in the script for his encounter gets triggered. Checking for effects that don't actually do anything is a very helpful way to trigger things in the event scripts. So, knowing that the event script is looking for this effect to be on Radon, how do we put the effect on Radon in the first place? Well, we could use event scripting and time how long it takes for Melania to beat Radon up enough for him to leave, but that would be wildly inconsistent, accounting for RNG and what the player might be doing. Maybe we could add a line into the scripting that checks for when Radon's health is at 50%, and adds the effect based on that, or simply disables him directly when his health gets that low. That could introduce similar issues, though, based on how much damage the player is doing in addition to Melania. The actual jump away is handled by Radon's AI script, which is a completely different system. It it usually happens around 50% health, but it's not always consistent, so those previous methods don't really work. The best place to apply the effect, then, would be when he's actually doing the jump. So, what's one way we could do that? This is Dark Souls Animation Studio, another incredible FromSoft modding tool created by Meow Meritus. This allows us to view animations and edit their jump tables, also known as Tays. These are little events displayed on a timeline in DSAS that control things like hitboxes, iframes, projectiles, visual effects, sound effects, and, importantly here, special effects. Let's take a look at Radon's animation binder, which contains the jump tables for his animations. If we scroll down to the Tay for his big jump, we can see I've added this event here that applies the special effect 7001 1610, which is the one that the event script is waiting for, like I mentioned earlier. So Radon does the jump, the effect gets applied to him, the event script triggers, and he disappears. Now that we know the how, let me explain the why. I'll start by disabling the block of code that makes Radon disappear. Let's see what happens. He goes up, and oh, where'd he go? If you didn't catch that, Radon meteored down as he normally would, but because this is not in his regular arena, he ended up under the Colosseum floor. So how do we solve this? Well, there's a number of ways, and this is a design challenge that is a lot of fun to tackle, and one that comes a lot when modding a game. Taking an existing system designed for one area and moving it to a new area, then fixing the issues that came along with that move. There's a ton of different ways you can fix issues like this, but I personally decided to just have Radon disappear after the jump, turning what is normally a phase transition, bringing him back down stronger than ever, into a cowardly retreat. I thought this was a fun decision as it not only changes the meaning of the move, but is emblematic of Radon's defeat at the hands of Melania during the Shattering, the inspiration for this encounter in the first place. These kinds of challenges are one of the reasons I really enjoy modding. How do you solve a problem caused only by forcing your ideas into a system that was designed by an entirely separate team of people using tools designed by another entirely separate group of people? I didn't know Radon was going to end up 
stuff under the floor when I initially decided he and Melania would be fighting here, but he did, so I had to come up with a solution. If you want to see more content like this, the behind the scenes of Dark Moon's development, please join the Patreon. It helps a lot, and from here on, these videos will be exclusive to that page. I have a few more videos planned currently, including an early tour of a new feature coming to 1.4, a breakdown of the trailer for 1.3, a look at the methodology of the arena, and more. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching.